your Google password needs to be eight characters long, can be upper and lowercase letters and numbers, these symbols, spaces can be in the middle of the password, just not at the beginning or the end. And keep in mind, you cannot reuse the same password in the last year. Google also blocks some passwords that are easy to guess too. So it's always a good idea to keep your Google account password different than any of your other passwords and change your password often. When possible, enable two-step authentication to prevent other people from gaining access to your account without your cell phone. Add a recovery phone and email address so that you can get back into the account if you forget your password. And remember to sign back into all of your devices after you've changed your password. These might include Chrome browsers, Drive Sync utilities, Google Photo backup utilities, and any mobile devices that do not have an app specific password. From any G Suite app, you should see your profile picture at the top right. From here you can access your My Account. Just click My Account. Or you can navigate to myaccount.google.com to get to this screen. From here you'll click Sign In and Security where we'll change our password. From here, we'll click Signing into Google. Then click Password. You might be prompted to re enter your password again. From here, we'll enter our new password twice to change the password. Then click the Change Password button. If you're signed into Chrome, your browser might be prompted to update the password, which you can do so here. Once you've changed your password, all of your devices will be signed out of your account and you'll need to re-log into those devices. Here you'll notice Chrome is signed out. So it can no longer sync my bookmarks, passwords and favorites. We'll need to sign in again. So click the sign in button and re-enter your new password here. I have two-step verification enabled, so I'll get the text code from my cell phone text message and enter it in here. Great, now my browser is signed in and in sync to my Google account. You'll need to sign in to all your other Chrome browsers on any other computers that you have. From here, it's a good chance to get started on your password recovery information and check those details. Make sure you have a recovery phone and email address. I don't have one, so I'll add one and it will prompt me for the Google password again to verify that I'm the correct user. I'll click sign in and enter in the new email address. Make sure you type this correctly here I have a typo, so change this immediately if you notice any errors. Then save this and click done. You can also check your account permission, what other apps have access to your Google account, and you can remove those from here. And it's also a good idea to check up your two-step verification settings that you have the correct phone number and any backup codes in case you lose your phone. Then you can continue to your account settings. We're done here. It's important to note here that free Google accounts and Gmail accounts rely solely on your recovery phone and or recovery email addresses. So make sure that you have that in place if you're on any of those plans. Uh, if you're a G Suite, 
customer, however, you usually have at least two user administrators within your company that can reset passwords in the admin console. If you're an administrator and forgot your password, your Google partner can help you reset your password. Admins and partners don't know your password. They can only reset them. Uh, if you got your account directly from Google, then you may need to follow the administrator password recovery procedures. And I'll leave those links in the description of this video. If it's your first time logging into Google and just moving into your account, think about enabling two-step authentication. And I'll leave that link in the next video. You'll want to do that before you start signing in to all your other Chrome browsers and sync utilities to prevent having to do this twice. Otherwise, your password is changed. Make sure you have your recovery information set up. And thanks for watching.